due to my artistic nature, there's no surprise why I would like somebody like Kyle Rayner. Yeah, I just did a video about Kyle Rayner and throughout fiction, characters get these things called like some would say temporary power-ups. Like they always get them. They're not long lived because they get overpowered to the point where it would be harder to make stories. So it'd be like them temporary power-ups. Kyle Rayner is no exception to this. There's a time he got the power of Ion and I'm going to explain why he's strong in that. Show off some feats in that in the same video as well. And I mean, some stuff that I might have left out in another video that I might add in this one as well. You know, power-ups, temporary powers. You know the time like Hercules. You know the Hercules from Marvel that got a power-up to the point where he was able to fight this multiversal being known as the Chaos King and stuff like that. Chaos, War, Hercules, that type of stuff. Same with characters like Superman, you know, because of the, his ability to sun dip and all that good stuff. So let's dig right into how strong is Ion Kyle Rayner, shall we? Being a top-tier Green Lantern, normally he's already like a close or near Superman level being already, right? Being able to harm Kryptonians and fight beings like Major Force and stuff like that. You know, in my video I already showed you, so check that out. You got a power -up like this on top of his willpower i mean goodness gracious i mean this guy was able to overpower the anti-life equation and break free of that that's how much willpower this guy has just remember in his base state he can do crazy stuff and hacksy stuff like trapping a soul you know that type of stuff trapping souls yeah he can touch souls basically i mean in his base state he created like this giant officer you know, stop superman in this one occasion and cool stuff like creating large monsters he even absorbs a star's blast into his ring just a typical day for a top tier Green Lantern like Kyle Rayner, right? Fun feed. He was able to absorb the energy of Thanos. Let me stop with these crossovers. Got to love it, right? <laughs> Let me stop messing around. People this powerful are not used to people having skills with their ring. There was a time he was able to, able to beat Sinestro in a fist fight. Got to respect the skills. He took out some gangsters only using martial arts. <laughs> Another occasion of him beating up some thugs. I already did a video about his base form. I, it was just some stuff I left out, you know, just to give you an idea of how strong he is in this base state. <laughs> I'm, I know, I know, I'm going all over the place. Just to show he's the top two Green Lantern, he's going to show that he can fight other multiple Lanterns at the same time and take them out. I mean, for Pete's sake, he even got the better of Guy Gardner where he had like two rings Red Lantern ring and a Green Lantern ring. Kyle Rayner still was able to get the advantage over him. Is that impressive or what? This wouldn't be complete if the like some of the other top tiers haven't fought him. Kyrie has even fought, you know, the man, the myth, the legend, John Stewart himself. Got a video about him as well. They had a literal slugfest in combat, showing that he's a top tier Green Lantern for a reason, right? Epicness. Okay, now to the Ion stuff. Ion might sound familiar. You don't know why it sounds familiar? I brought Ion up in another video about Superboy Prime, where Ion Saddam Yada fought Superboy Prime. That's why that might sound familiar. Ion, yeah. To get an idea of why this power up is insane and why getting the power of Ion being Ion Kyrena is even impressive in the first place, you gotta get an idea of what Ion actually is. It's pretty simple, actually. Ion is actually a living being, similar to a lot of other stuff. You know how, you know, DC has an avatar of everything in his universe. You know, the avatar of the green, avatar of the sky, and you know. Ion is the symbiotic willpower entity birthed from the green, a part of the emotional spectrum. It's the contrasting opposing to parallax. You know, Parallax is yellow and this is green, you know. Parallax is the yellow entity of fear. It inhabited the central Green Lantern power battery on Oa. There's only been two Green Lanterns to be a host of this, which is Kyle Rayner and Saddam Yacht. And you saw how powerful Saddam Yacht was when he had it, you know what I mean? And Kyle Rayner is the host of this. Thanks to him being the host of this, he gets a lot of new abilities that pushes him. I mean, he's already godlike, right? He's already like, what, 80% of, one could say 80%, 75% the power of Superman, at least. If you want to say he's lower than Superman, that's fine. But he's not a flea in comparison, you know what I mean? Like, he's got to be at least 75% of his power, you know, that. He's in the range, the same range, even if there is a gap, you know. But this new power, this pushes him into a whole new level, new tier. And Kyle Rayner is literally known to be the Green Lantern that's creativity. That's the thing he specializes in, is his creativity. But yet, this ion increased his creativity that was already godlike right he doesn't even need sleep anymore it's crazy ion kyle rayner has gotten so strong to the point where he made superman redundant not needed to help the people because ion has been carrying the weight you know he's been giving these people what they need in the world doing nice stuff to the world like that's crazy right superman is over here bored on the couch they even stay here, lighten your load a little bit. Because, you know, he's the similar piece, you know what I mean? You mean, <laughs> I had Kyle Rayner, you know, Joe. Such a new level of power, he even can sense the future. One can say this is a form of omnipresence, one can say. He's, like, connected to, like, the timeline, you know, or I could be just overthinking. That could be just me, you know what I mean? He can actually see DNA or powers. He can do cool stuff like scan the entire globe for anybody that has DNA similar to his. That, that's, that's cool stuff. 
It states here, I have come into the possession of nearly unlimited power and I did a global search for anyone carrying the remote traces of DNA matching my own. They start bringing up that term unlimited, you know it's getting real. He's even a living lie detector person where you can tell if somebody's lying. Let's not forget though, even without iron, he can do stuff like contain light work stuff like 100 megaton bombs. But when he does have the power of ion, he can create like drugs, created a resistance to your psychotropic drugs. Like how does that work? I mean, he's already shown to be able to create armies of constructs, like actual creatures supposedly to be able to fight, but ion it that just pushes it to a whole new league evidently. As you can see here, it makes like this giant army of constructs to fight for him. Cool stuff. He even created a near perfect copy of himself. <laughs> He can go like into this form known as the energy form. It's actually dangerous for people to even just be near him in this state. In this energy state, it's so deadly to the point where he almost even killed a powerful Green Lantern like Alan Scott. Yeah, in Ion, he's that powerful. Just being near him. He's not even trying to attack. Imagine if he tried to attack. You know what I mean? It states here, stop this before you kill us. He can do some reality warping and mad manipulation type stuff in this state. He can like literally block sound waves to the point where he can't be heard. He can literally create real food, like actual real food out of nothing. Literally move through time. Ion Kyle Rayner, baby. Let me read it right here for you. Since becoming Ion, I can exist in multiple segments of time. I can occupy the present laterally. It isn't exactly invisibility in a sense. I mask my outer aura with a space of time when I'm not actually here. Like what? He seemingly has ultimate control over time where he can just travel back and change history and fate if he wanted to. He seems like he just has no limits when it comes to even controlling time. It's like, yeah, he was already godlike, but it seems like he's like an actual god now. You can read all of this if you want to pause the video, by the way. Oh, if you lose your powers, I can just give you your powers back. He wouldn't have achieved godhood if he couldn't do one of the most godlike things of all, like bringing beings back from the dead, like the time he brought the guardians back from the grave. You should be eternally grateful. Ion Kyle Rainer, baby. He was just doing everything cool, like the time he healed John Stewart's broken back healing ability. I already showed this panel earlier, but implied they can be kind of everywhere at once. It's like some omnipresence type stuff with this lore and statements here. There's thunderstorms in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. That may turn into tornadoes. I can avoid that. States here. Here's a group of vandalizing woman's medical center easily fixed he states here i am here and i am there i am everywhere like yeah is he fixing it's implied that he's fixing those problems while he's laying in his bed like yo this is some abstract existence type stuff like even above some skyfather type stuff like being everywhere at once that's crazy okay to prove that he's everywhere at once like look at these panels right on the news you see people waving at him then he's somewhere else doing other stuff stopping people from getting killed then he's somewhere else yet again and yet again all over the galaxy too yeah, what kind of levels of power he at right here is crazy. He literally exists across an entire planet, stops all the crime on the entire planet, everywhere on the planet. He just cleaning house. Talking about ultimate godhood. <laughs> I know I keep going back to this, but he's fighting crime across the planet while he's chilling with his sweetie at the same time. Yeah, he states here. And so ends my first day of this new existence. But it's not really the end of the day, though. I'm still on 10 decks making sure that weapons don't operate. It's not too hard, but like he's chilling right here. You can clearly see him here, but he says he's at the other place too. Like a planet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Crazy. But remember I said earlier, like how you get power-ups this crazy, you usually don't get a whole lot of feats in this. Where would he really rank at this new level of power though? I mean, it seems like since he got a good handle on the Ion ability, he seemed like he would be on some way past Skyfather type stuff. He has some, some abstract existence type stuff, being everywhere at once type stuff. You know, it did seem like that. I mean, you know, we've seen what Saddam Yaka do with the Ion, but it didn't seem like he had a handle on it like Kyle Rayner did. You know what I mean? I definitely think Kyle Rayner in this state probably could take on characters like Superboy Prime. If he was to fight him in this state, or he probably could beat Superboy Prime in this state. Like, he's absolutely crazy in this state. Like I said, you ain't gonna see him do nothing crazy, like blast no universal way and stuff, but I'm pretty sure he could with this state. I mean, based on him being Ion, which is the opposing of Parallax, and we saw what Parallax can do. What actual attack power would he have in this state? I would say he should be on some zero hour Parallax type stuff, Hal Jordan type stuff when it comes to raw power and stuff, since he had a good handle on his Ion ability, being everywhere and once and being omnipresent. Ion is one would say the contrasting opposite of Parallax, or the, the yellow thing of fear, and that's the green so you could say they're pretty similar right that's fair green yellow it's in that range of power and i don't need to remind you what parallax has done in the past when he has taken control of people remember the zero hour event yeah parallax yeah it was stated that zero hour parallax could cause similar destruction similar to the crisis on infinite earth's event and yeah 
Ion is supposed to be like the contrasting opposite that is supposed to be comparable to power to this. That's the type of power Ion Kyle Rayner had. Zero Hour Parallax was crazy to the point where he can absorb energy from like anti-monitor and stuff. Kyle Rayner has to be comparable or at least above Saddam Yacht when he was empowered by the Ion power. So Ion power seemed pretty absurd. For the sake of argument, let me just lowball the living snot out of him right quick. At the very least, he should be in those Skyfather ranges with characters like Superboy Prime or even characters like the Mighty Zeus from DC. You know, Skyfather ranges. But if I'm not lowballing him, if I want to be realistic on how accurately I think he should be portrayed, I think like Ion Kyle Rayner was on some abstract existence type stuff. I think he could possibly take down or even be characters like the Antimonitor himself. Think about it. Parallax how Jordan, it was stated that they was going to cause similar destruction to the Christ on infinite earth's event and you know antimonitor is responsible for the crisis infinite earth's event he was going to absorb like all the universes and i think ion kyle rayner was on some abstract existence type stuff to the point where it seemed like he would be on that type of level or even slightly above this maybe you know what i'm saying like it's just crazy look at the absolute minimum he's definitely on some superboy prime level type stuff but when you start looking at all those omnipresent feats it kind of gets crazy should be at least comparable or above characters like ion saddam yacht you're probably thinking well he ain't that strong ion saddam Saddam Yacht still kind of lost to Superboy Prime. Well, like I said, it didn't seem like he had a full handle on it like Kyle Rayner did. You didn't see Saddam Yacht doing that omnipresent type stuff, right? Or, if I, or am I mistaken or am I missing something? You know what I mean? I don't think that's the case. But what do you guys think? You guys know Kyle Rayner was this impressive. You probably didn't ever think a Green Lantern would be like that, right? <laughs> Especially a one, yeah. But post your comments down below. Let me know how you enjoyed this. Do you guys want, to, want me to do a video about how strong is White Lantern Kyle Rayner? Who knows? If this video does good reviews, I might go ahead and make that too. But let me know if you want to see that or not. One could debatably say this form is even higher than this. I know, right? You're probably thinking, how do you get higher than this? Hey, <laughs> they keep on stacking on the power-ups. You know what I mean? It's another temporary power-up, you know. The mightiest Green Lantern form, I would say. Or Lantern form, you know what I mean? But guys, check out them playlists so you can binge watch the stuff on my channel. I can see you more on my channel and this is not the last thing I see you on. You know, that type of thing. Make sure you post some comments, description, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Respect Ion Kyle Rayner. He's Godhood.